So, Christmas happened recently, and it was alright, but we thought it could have been better. So we each made a presentation on our ideas for a brand new Christmas tradition. Some were good, yeah. and some were not. So here we have the National Snowball Fight by me. How we're gonna do it? The U.S. already has uh, state cities and neighborhoods. These will be the battlegrounds for the snowball fights. So each participant will be given a vest with sensors and a tracker in it, so we know who is still in and who is out. Neighborhood winners go to the city competition. City goes to the state competition. State goes to national competition. America, God bless. Uh, also, go somewhere with real snow if you can. Basically, what do you mean real snow? Yeah, what? It fell from the sky. But like, are you are there you places can, are there places where they like put fake snow on the grass? Probably. Pro where? I don't know. You can buy fake like, snow. Like if I live in Texas, do we have to like ship in the snow on semi trucks? No, you go to so that's we'll get to that later. Uh, basic rules, one member per household allowed to participate. No going indoors. Uh, also, yeah. try to win, it's more fun that way. So, what are the basic rules on what a snowball is? Because... I you make see. a snowball and throw I it at somebody. See. I don't I care see. what's inside of you. You can put rocks inside of you. What? Okay. What? Is that what? illegal? Would that turn to a massacre? You get, that you get could turn into a legal logic. problem, but I'll leave it to your lawyers. Say I have... Some bullets. Are there bathroom breaks? Can this pay to be making the millions? Players? They only work for this the day. Is this coming out of my salary? The elves? <laughs> what salary? Uh, I'm sure. Uh, on to the uh, next uh, slide! Going on. A million dollars? Yes. Who's funding this? The government. For the first year prize, it will be paid for by the government. After that, it's all on us. So, big question, what do you do when there's no snow? Government supplied fake snowballs. It's just a bunch of tennis balls. Sweet! All right, that's all I have for you. Oh. Hi, guys. Hi. What are we doing here? Oh, we're listening to you. Yeah. Oh, that was like mine. It, it, it is. It has well, a name on it. That's step one of my tradition. Convince your mother that you are hungry, preferably a piece of food. So, can you spell your correctly next time? How do I spell your correctly? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next, you're gonna want to eat somewhere nice. Just like tell your mother that you've seen, you know, right. others have nice Christmas dinners, and you want one of your own. Right? Is that an orange on hot chocolate with a lemon? <laughs> After you're done, you know, eating your absolutely delicious dinner. Why are we having margaritas for dessert? <laughs> Don't you say you want some dessert? After this great Christmas dinner, you feel the need to top it off with an even better dessert. Tell your mother that the dessert at the restaurant is too expensive and you should go somewhere else. How about Wendy's? Is, oh, oh, is this a great fucking? <laughs> this is an ad for your <laughs> the place you work. Great customer service. All the workers are trained to help you. The buyer get the best ice cream in the world. Amazing ice cream. My taste buds explore explode with delight after getting Exploring. just a lick. Of that wonderful Wagyu's ice cream. Hey, but you work at Wagyu's. You should have just slide in Where's the five second skip? What is the sponsorship at? <laughs> where this is going. Me. Oh, oh my I know God. that guy. That's, I know that it's guy. him. It's that guy. It, it is? He's got an apron on. I'm the reason you come. I'm the tradition. He is the reason. I, I, wait, what wait. a treat that is. But go back is. to. I didn't hear that last part. Can you say it again? Uh, I, I'm the. <laughs> You know what? No, go back. What's that? Go back. What's you the reason? You gotta say it. We didn't get it the first time. time. What a treat that is. <laughs> it's it's bad good. It I really is a treat. I, wait, oh, oh, wait. Wait, oh, 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 oh. In dedication, I am dedicated to making sure that you have the best night of the year. What if it's the morning? Oh. Whoa, 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 the whoa. Best whoa. Night of my life? I don't think he's talking about it. One catch. I hope you fulfill my tradition, as who doesn't want to spend time with me on their Christmas break? Hey, I don't. Alright. Welcome, everyone. Hi. To Sawyer's Christmas tradition. See, my Christmas tradition. It's all about one man, this guy, this guy right here. Can anyone tell me what Santa eats every year at every house? Cookies. What do you. Milk and cookies. Milk and cookies. Ice cream. Ice cream. So, the average cookie has around 140 calories. The average glass of milk, 2%, of course, is 100 calories. 
Now, let's assume that Santa is eating three cookies every house. You don't play cookies. That's more than two. So with that, we can assume that Santa is eating around 520 calories at every house. Right? And there's an estimated two. 2.3 billion houses on Earth, we can assume that's Santa. What about people who don't celebrate? Everyone celebrates this. So, we can assume that Santa is eating 1.196 trillion calories My every single Christmas. But, here's the thing. Santa's been doing this for 2,022 years. If Santa's been doing this for 2,022 years, we can estimate that Santa probably weighs around 690.9 billion pounds. In order to get Santa into shape, we're going to need to trick him into losing weight on Christmas. In order to do that, we need to set up booby traps. No, 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 just listen. You said the word! <laughs> I've designed five booby traps for Santa <laughs> Stop laughing! Stop laughing! For Santa Claus, each of which will trick him into losing weight every Christmas. Sorry, what did you design again? Booby traps. <laughs> <laughs> trap number one. What kind of trap is it? It's a booby trap. <laughs> so trap number one is the pull-up lock. So basically, you know Santa, he loves his cookies, but he is shocked to see that the cookies are locked behind a cage. And the cage is attached to a pull-up bar. So basically, what Santa has to do is he has to do 1,000 pull-ups, and then the cage will unlock, and he'll burn a thousand calories. Trap number two. So, this is the pitfall. So we know Santa, he goes up to the tree, he's handing out, he's handing out presents, and when he gets to the tree, a little pressure plate will activate, and a pitfall trap will open up beneath him. So this hole that he's falling down is 5,000 feet deep. Oh my god. So every family is going to have to dig a 5,000 foot hole in their living room. It's, it's, it's easy. easy. It's for Santa Claus. So but the average rock that. climber, every time Santa climbs out of this hole, he is burning 2,000 calories. I, Trap number I, I, three, the rabid reindeer. This is probably my favorite one. So basically, at every house on the roof is going to be set up a tripwire rabies syringe. So when the reindeer land, one of them is going to trip this tripwire and get injected with high quality rabies. High quality, right? Only the best. The reindeer is going to chase Santa throughout the house all night long for a day's worth of time. It's going to take a day for the rabies to kill the reindeer. He will burn 2,064 calories per rabid reindeer. Wait, 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 wait. So does Santa deal with the dead reindeer in their house? So trap number four is the sleigh slasher. So this one, you see there's Santa, this sleigh here. We're gonna be setting up uh, bear traps on the roof. So when Santa lands, the traps are going to destroy the runner of his sleigh. Without that, he obviously can't land at the next house. So he'll have to fix it in between every single house. I'm gonna see? get my engineers yeah. to invent a combustible yeah. lemon that- So the average engineer Santa will burn 175 calories from this. So now trap number five. So Santa, he's setting up the presents. When he gets up to leave, he's gonna see a little present in the corner of the room. He's probably gonna assume he dropped it. So he goes to pick it up. And when he picks it up, it's revealed that inside. Oh God. So if Santa goes through each and every one of these traps at every single house per Christmas, he will burn, he will lose 650 million pounds from the pull-out lock, 1.3 billion pounds from the pitfall, 1.4 billion pounds from the rabid reindeer, 115 million pounds from the sleigh slasher, and 3.5 billion pounds from the decoy present. That's a lot of pounds. Now, with a bit of rounding here and there, we can say that, that Santa will be losing about 6.9 <laughs> billion pounds per Christmas. And if you remember, our original estimate for Santa's weight was 690 billion pounds. So all we have to do is set up these five traps every year for 100 years, and then we won't have a fat Santa anymore. No more jolly fat man. Instead, well, we'll have this. Jerry, this mouse is shit. So, this is my Christmas tradition. You remember earlier when we were talking about how it'd be really bad if we killed Santa? <laughs> oh, um, I got oh. bad news. So, here are some of the pros. Capitalism, kill that commie bastard. Let's go! He wears red. We both know he's an enemy of the state. Yes, sir. Okay, so where is Santa Claus? Well, Santa Claus Village is widely believed to be in whatever the hell that is, Finland. <laughs> so we know where this guy is. We've got him hunted down. 
but he's he's guarded. He's well guarded. He's got an army of elf slaves that are loyal to him. So pretty much, we're not gonna be able to attack him on his home turf. We've gotta wait for the one night a year that he's out of there. We could bomb the runway. Huh? <laughs> You know, for a swing, just, you know, drop a couple yeah, bombs. Yeah, but You're saying it doesn't just float up, it just, like, float to the next location? <laughs> Fine, we can use some, like, missile systems. Yeah, you got some Jerry. Over Jerry. So how are we gonna get this guy? Because right now, he seems like he holds all the cards. That's not true. He's got a few fatal flaws we can exploit. The first way, we'll start off small. Rat poison. Alright, the second plan is a carrot magnet. What's a reindeer's favorite food, people? Wow. Carrot. A carrot. So the plan is we bring all of Earth's carrots into one spot, and when the reindeer fly over, oh, they'll, they'll come in like, like that, and they'll be like, woo! And so they'll all be on the ground like, woo! Look at all the carrots! Yay! Yum 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 yum! And that's where the surprise comes in. Boom! Pipe bomb. All right. And the last way that I've come up with a missile. So we're gonna hit him with a missile positioned in Anchorage, Alaska, when he flies over the Russian coast. Won't the Russians the think that's a little suspicious? Nah, it'll be fine. They're in on it too. We're gonna hit him when he's 6,587 kilometers from Finland, which he'll get to 0.44 seconds after he takes off. So, we're gonna have to launch hypersonic missiles. The plan is we launch an array of them, around this area, flying it at about 17,000 meters high. So we'll hit him from from below, which is key to the plan. So when Santa takes off at 3 a.m. and he gets careened by our missiles, he gets sent off into space. Now, let me, let's me let think about what Santa wears. Do you see a space suit on him? No. He's, he's dead. He's not breathing in any air right now. What if he- And that's it. This is why we should ban the, the tradition of Santa. Santa is a criminal. He up. sneaks into your houses. He should be in prison. Santa is a <laughs> He specifically has little boys and girls sit on his lap. He stalks them every year. He sees you while you're sleeping, and he knows when you're awake. You can see Santa's sleigh uh, run over grandma, and it's 100% aim proof. In I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, he's literally kissing your mom. We gotta he, get this. Yeah, Santa is a part of the Illuminati. Okay, see that? See that hat? Do you see that hat? No. I see oh. it. They're I trying. It sees me. They're literally triangles. In 2021, the revenue for Christmas. Oh my God, bro. Oh hell, hell no, man. Whoa! 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 I'm not putting this in the video. He's committed five of the seven deadly sins: Covet covetousness, lust, uh, glut, um. Sloth, and lastly, pride. He tricks little kids into thinking Christmas is about him instead of the birth of baby Jesus. Why does he hate Jesus? Oh my god. Anyone? Anyone want to know? He's the devil. He is the devil. Oh my god. So, Caden wasn't able to come up with anything, so I made a presentation for him. By the way, Caden made this whole presentation by himself. And he has no idea what's in it. Okay guys, this is my Christmas tradition. Damn, uh, this guy's a copycat. Copy. So, obviously, the tradition huh? is killing Santa. Yeah, that's a stupid idea, bro. <laughs> okay, uh, why we should kill Santa? <laughs> He's the devil. Reason number one. <laughs> Santa. It, uh, uh. Santa. Right. Santa's mean! Right. Yeah, he's Santa's really mean. See, look at this. <laughs> propaganda. This is propaganda. He's mean. Reason of Shackley and Quantitism. The lead. <laughs> look at that. It's coal. He's putting rocks in your stocking. He gave me coal one year. Multiple years, actually. This contributes to him being aggressively aggravating. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, see? <laughs> Making it cold out here. You can't see it, guys. It's just that. I have something to confess. I have something to confess. Um, this is gonna be quite a shock to you guys. So, if you need, cover your eyes. Uh. 
Remember, cover your eyes, clench your cheeks. Did you keep going? Um, um, I don't like Santa Claus. But I had to. Oh! You said crayon. This is me. Reason number three. <laughs> 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 this, this is what I saw at my house. My ring doorbell one night when he was giving me call. You can clearly see him starting a line. This is him right here. There's a uh, twins. <laughs> They're all bent down, starting a line. See how shocking that is. Santa. <laughs> now take a look at this. Wait. Is the oh part of my god. Probably wondering what the heck that was. How are we gonna kill Santa? I got a few ideas. We need some supplies in the queue. We need maps. We gotta find Steal. Now what does it all mean? <laughs> I... Whoa! <laughs> Well, we use the firearm to summon a bullet from some other place and make him cry. He's dead. He's yeah. yeah! What's that? Thanks for listening, guys. So, here's the deal. There were actually seven of us, but Ian was two and a half hours late. And after all that waiting, this is what he gave us. Oh my god. Are you guys ready to see the new hip Christmas tradition? Christmas parties, they suck, right? Yes. You have to spend time with your family. That's not my family. Just hold the keyboard. Ew. Okay. No! <laughs> I got it! I got it. You gotta spend time with your uncle that is yelling at uncle. you. And then you got your little cousins always being annoying and stuff. After dinner time, you all stand in a circle. Like that. With bats. Uh-huh. Then you beat the sh out of each other. That's it. That's it. That's the whole thing. Yeah. We waited two and a half hours oh for you God. to get here. And you give us that?